Let me address two modern day problems that certainly affect both me and you. Climate change and pension crisis. As the second one is less obvious, let me briefly explain. The low birth rates in recent decades have led to quite disproportionate generations, making it increasingly difficult for younger generations to fund pensions adequately. Proposed solutions like delaying retirement or increasing taxes pose challenges for most age groups. But what if I told you we could be tackling these two problems simultaneously? In Germany, since August 2022, the customers when entering a pension product have to be asked about their willingness to invest their money into sustainable assets. Does the provider, the life insurer, has to be prepared to offer such investments and to tackle the new challenges and risks that arise with them? My PhD research examines such challenges and risks that arise within sustainable portfolio optimization and also it proposes new modeling approaches. But firstly, what is a sustainable asset or a sustainable portfolio? To differ between more and less sustainable assets, we actually assign them a rating. One such rating is a Bloomberg rating, which assigns an ESG score between 0 and 100, where 100 is the best, most sustainable. We will, however, use a scaled version between 0 and 1. Now, a sustainable portfolio is a collection of such assets where um, it also has to satisfy an additional sustainability constraint. What is that? Well, let's say we have two assets with ratings R1 and R2. And let's say in the first one, we invest 70% of our wealth and in the second one, 30% of our wealth. Then R1 times 0.7 plus R2 times 0.3 has to be greater or equal than D, which is the desired sustainability of our customer. For example, 30%. Thus, we optimize such portfolios where we have to satisfy this constraint, meaning such optimal portfolios are suboptimal to the ones without constraint. But there's still various reasons why this investment is so attractive. For example, the natural demand for higher quality of living, the upcoming taxation of non-sustainable assets, the fact that non-sustainable assets might simply run out, and the high future returns after a build-up phase of sustainable investments. And we model all this into our approaches. Therefore, we see this as an opportunity to address climate change and pension crisis problems. Thus, by conducting research in this direction, we pave the way for a more secure and sustainable future.